Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out my video today. Today we have part two of making a reveal game. Um, you watched the first video on how to make an easy version of the reveal game. Today we're going to do a more advanced version with some animations and some sound effects um, to spice up your game a little bit to make it more exciting for the students um, to play. If you haven't watched the first video, um, please do so uh, before this video and then come back to this video and follow along uh, with me. So here we have um, the squares that we made from the last um, video. It's all animated already, um, but this time we're going to uh, animate it, uh, make the characters animate when they click on the square. Um, also I have some other examples to show you guys today. Um, here is a puzzle version of the reveal game that I made. Um, as you can see, it's very colorful and uh, very attractive for students to uh, to try. So you can click on the play button, see what it looks like there. And we have all the questions filled up here. Um, I'm working on some questions with my students, some Q&A. But you can put whatever questions you want. It works the same way as the reveal game. It's just in a puzzle format. So um, I'll probably make a video on this. To show you guys how to make this puzzle piece so you click on a puzzle and a hand comes up and uh, grabs one of the puzzle pieces to reveal the character so we'll just click on a few more when the students make a question they can uh, choose a puzzle piece if you guys like um, these kind of mater materials and content uh, please don't forget to like share and comment um, it will really help out um, this channel a lot All right, so that's how uh, that reveal game works. Um, I will probably make a video on this if you guys would like to see this version of the reveal game, the puzzle pieces. So let's take a look at how we can make our ad more advanced reveal game. So like the first video, I showed you how to make the um, add gradients to your background. You can do that. And once you do that, you can start by um, making the animated um, squares and you can always use slide 5 for your reference we have the minion here i just grabbed him from slide 5 now i'm shrinking him to uh, 3. you can make it any size you want you can make it smaller if you want and i dragged him up um, to put him in front make sure he's in front of the square so you can see what you're doing with your um, animation and then you can click on your animation tab and you can take a look at um, the animation path here. Yours might be located somewhere else, but mine is located here. And you have um, some options here. You got some uh, customs, basic, and uh, more complex. Um, so we're going to grab one of these um, to animate our um, character. I generally use um, the simple um, draw line animation but you can use whatever you want to animate your character so we're just going to move the character one time click on him choose draw line click on it and drag it i hold shift and drag so my line doesn't move and once i'm happy with it i'll just let go and there he goes he goes over there now it's very important that you label everything i labeled this square 11 so I, now i know that when the students click on square 11 or when you choose square 11 um, the minion character will um, run that way to behind that square. All right, so let's do a quick recap on how we animate the square. Um, we choose um, the fade animation and you can choose whatever you want. I'm just gonna use a pinwheel this time. And once I'm satisfied with that, um, I'll just check it out and play it and see what that looks like. But first we'll set it to um, trigger one square one so we'll click on that and i'm satisfied with that animation so i will um, change the speed a little bit i want it a little faster and i think that's good and now we're going to um, use the animation painter to make it easier so we don't have to animate each square which is copy um, the animation that we made and it puts the trigger already sets the trigger for us already so we don't have to like find the squares and 
set this trigger for each square. It'll put it under the correct square for us. So we'll just keep doing that. Hit animation painter and paint um, each square just like that. If you want a more full in-depth um, video on this, please watch the first video on how to do this. Now that everything is animated, um, we're going to go back to our path animation. Click on the minion, choose draw a line. Oops, accidentally that. Let's try it one more time. Choose draw a line, click on the minion, and just drag it to where you want. Hold shift and make sure you drag it. Um, maybe you want to make it peek around here somewhere, or it could be anywhere you want, but I want him to peek just a little bit right there. And so uh, we'll move him back just a little bit. All right. Now that we're all set, we got the minion here. Um, now we can drag that under square and go to um, selection and it's square 13. This is square 12 and so on. So we want to grab it and drag it to um, that square and set it to with the previous one. When you click on the square, um, the menu will pop out. So let's test it out. And you, uh, the menu will peek behind the card a little, or the square a little bit. Um, don't worry, the minion is, the character is in front of the square now, but once you animated everything, um, you can just hide them behind the square. So this, um, this just makes it easier for you to um, make your PowerPoint game rather than bringing it up, hiding it and putting it back and bring it to the front. So again, I choose uh, draw a line. Oops, let's just undo that. So I'll just draw a line again, click on the minion, draw a line. And from here, I'll drag it um, maybe up here. Okay, and once you're happy with the um, position of your um, character, you can go ahead and find that it's square 13. And you can drag that to square 13. And again, just like um, tw um, square 12, we set it to previous and change the speed. And now you can see what it looks like. So when they click on square 13, um, they see a little bit of the, the character, but they're not sure what it is. So they'll try and answer square 12 and click on 12 and then the minion runs up. And so now we're gonna do it again. And so they think it's behind this square, but we're gonna drag it over here. Uh, make sure you hold shift and drag it so the line stays nice and straight. And then we can try it again. Maybe make it down here somewhere. You can play around with this a little bit and um, try different variations, uh, moving it around your squares, etc. Now that we have the um, our animation, so this is square one. And we're gonna drag um, that animation. to square one. So it's gonna run, it's gonna move two times. So the first action is, uh, this one is gonna go diagonally. And then it's going to go to the right. And we'll just make that 0.5, make it fast. And then let's test it out. So they click on this square. They see a little bit of the minion. They try to guess it's behind there. They click on this one and the minion is not there. And they think he's there in the corner, upper right corner, but he's actually down now. And now we can see what it looks like. We can hide our uh, minion now. You can drag him 
to their bottom or just go to um, send to the back like this and this is what it looks like so they click on this right here and they see a little bit of oh what's that they click on that he runs really quickly up there and then when they click on this they think he's in the corner there somewhere but he's not he's at the bottom here Now you have successfully successfully uh, reveal your um, character so this is a more advanced version of the reveal game instead of just revealing um, the characters you can do something fun like this um, as I mentioned this is the same reveal game just in a puzzle form I just made um, this square into a puzzle using the same animation but we'll get into that um, in another video and if you would like to see uh, more games like this um, don't forget to uh, like share and comment below so here we're going to find a sound effects to add to our uh, minion when we click on the square we can hear something laughing or running behind the square so um, you guys can download your own sound effects and if you want links to the sound effects i can um, also add that in the description box so you guys can um, grab those sound effects as well so we here we have the high pitch sound effects so we'll put that here with previous so when they click on the square it'll make the the sound and we can test that out by hitting the um, play button <laughs> now you have successfully added your own sound effects to your game with your animation there's two ways of adding the anim uh, the sound effects um, wave and mp3 um, if you use wave it might not work for um, when you share files with other teachers and uh, viewers the, the sound effects might not work sometimes um, mp3 seems to work the best um, but it depends on your your uh, PowerPoint, but MP3 seems to work the best. So we got the sound effects going on here. I'll show you a little trick on how you can um, put MP3 or convert MP3 to WAVE without having to convert the, the WAVE file um, in another video as well. I hope that you guys find my content and materials useful and if you do don't forget to uh, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when i put them up on this channel again thank you for watching my video and i wish you the best of luck in your classes